All right, uh, let's talk about also attributes versus classes. Is um, Again, depending on how uh, familiar you are or expert in your particular domain, uh, you, you might already have a structure in your head, right? And, uh, and you already ha have the classes and attributes already uh, ready to be drawn. And, and maybe some, you might already have templates, right? That allow you to start off um, you know, running in, your, in, a, in a project, right? Uh, but if, uh, if you're not, uh, um, uh, or, or there's something very peculiar about uh, what the client is doing, uh, it might be that uh, uh, you, you need to decide whether certain things are classes, attributes, or, or you know, ha, ha, is, is a, uh, you know, a, a particular attribute is important enough to, that uh, it, it uh, merits its own class, its own attributes. Uh, right, so at first, you know, obviously, all nouns can't be classes, right? It, 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 usually, um, if, it's, if it's a value that you're capturing, typically those, those are, are attributes, right? They're, they're, they're just fields of something that is bigger, right? Uh, and if, if, it, if it doesn't have a value, well, then usually those are classes, right? Where that is made up of multiple values, right? Um, but again, it, it depends on the level of abstraction that, that you choose. For instance, in our case, uh, the, uh, the way we were capturing a, a, a professor was just the username of the professor, right? We never, we don't even have a table for the professor, right? Uh, you know, for our, in our particular case, that was enough, right? That was the level of abstraction that we chose, right? But uh, if you have, if you need to keep track of uh, other things about the professor, you know, whether their offices, their office hours, you know, whether they're tenure or non-tenure, right? Uh, and all sorts of things, right? Then, then obviously, one field is not enough, right? That you have to go and decide that it's a class with its own uh, set of fields, right? You know, do you care uh, about the, the, the value? So for instance, even this, this some, something simple as a license plate, uh, is it enough to be just an attribute where you capture the value of the license plate, right? But if you're capturing, you know, what state was it, was it issued, the design, whether, you know, whether it's, it's bent, uh, you know, what, whether the, the size, whether it's a foreign, uh, played like in Europe that's much longer or, or shorter here in, in the United States, right? So depending on what the minutia, right, of what is it you want to capture, you have to de de determine whether it's an attribute or a class. Because in our case, professors were not worthy enough of their own classes. Uh, and, um, and, and so we decided to just be uh, an attribute. Uh, if we're converting classes to attribute, there's an a, a little algorithm uh, for this, right? So um, you know, if you have all the classes that want to become an attribute, so you want to remove a class and you re realize so this class is basically an attribute in somebody else's class, right? Then you're going to remove that class, but you now have to, have to, now you have to have attributes added to those classes that that original class was, was associated with, right? Uh, that class might be associated to multiple other classes. Right? So you need to add attributes to each one, okay? And then remove the, uh, the, all the relationships from the class that you're removing. So for instance, in this case, let's try and remove grades, year, car model, you know, professor, uh, license plate. So the professor, for instance, uh, since we're only just keeping track of their username, uh, that's going to be uh, that's that's going to be uh, added to either the section or the enrollment uh, or the combination of both. Um, the grade uh, here is in the enrollment, so that's going to be sucked into the enrollment, right? We're not going to keep track of of a table of grades. Uh, year looks like it has relationships to both the section and the student, so that's going to be uh, uh, embedded in there. Your know, license plate and the car model is going to be embedded inside of the permit, and we're going to remove all these classes, and we're going to end up with basically what we started with. Right? So with the, the grade goes into the enrollment and remove it from, from remove the grade class, the professor into the section, the license plate and the car model into the permit and the year into the student and the section. And we magically uh, end up with the original class diagram that we knew that we're going to end up all along, right? Uh, there it is. So students, permits, departments, course. Uh, additional attributes that might have not been uh, uh, described when, um, when we, were, we were interviewing our client uh, because for them, perhaps it was obvious that these things existed, that these attributes existed. For instance, department, they never mentioned that departments have a name, right? They never mentioned that courses have a name or title, okay? Uh, again, it's, it's our responsibility to catch these things, that students have first names, last names, they might have an email, they might have a date of birth, they might have social security number, all sorts of things, right? So we're gonna, you know, they skipped them because they were obvious or they were assumed 
uh, and it's our responsibility to fill in the gaps. There they are. Um, you know, just like they're just like uh, they are cardinalities between uh, you know one to many, many to many uh, between classes. Attributes also have cardinalities. You know, how many of these? And and some databases allow you to declare arrays. You know, uh, some are, some databases don't. Uh, that allow you to say, well, there's many of these in in, in a particular attribute. Um, uh, so so if you you know if you had a professor, it used to be a multi a many to many. Uh, then that means that when you suck it into the section, right, that might become an array of professors. Yes, then it becomes an attribute, right? So just just like uh, just like the, this carnality in classes is also carnality in the attributes. Hi everyone, Jose here. Uh, please remember to subscribe and like the video. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Thank you.